and Eli's just making a lot of noise. I'm going to shoot a little more video over the next couple days as I get her all cleaned up and ready to go. But here we go, the 360 view, more or less. This is time for the guided tour of the 1963 Ford Falcon Futura we have named Myrtle. Taking you through everything that's been done to her so far. Alright, it all started off with the floors. You wouldn't know it now, but when I bought the car it had Fred Flintstone brakes. The floors had to be replaced. New floors were put in. At that time the interior was all removed, taken to Hartzell in Aurora where Hartzell stitched in the brand new interior. He even removed the old Falcon from the original interior and stitched it in to the new interior. One other thing from the interior this last winter I installed seat belts in the back. These were out of a Monarch I believe that was in Mom Rich's backyard for a while. The door panels are also brand new I did that shortly after I repainted all the interior metal. Slightly darker color than original. The armrests still need to be replaced. The next item of business was front suspension. Did a polygraphite front suspension kit from PST. And then I had to have Speedway Motors create that sleeve that adjusts the Granada spindles to the uh, Granada tie rod ends to the Falcon tie rod ends because I'm using Granada disc brakes. Here is the 302 out of the 78 Granada. I had Tony and Omaha Core rebuild for me. I think he ripped me off on it because I'm not even sure that that is the exact same block that I took to him. But we've had to do lots and lots of work on it in order to get it to work right since then. Had to replace the fuel pump and rebuild carburetors and all kinds of other fun stuff that went along with that. But that is a 302. It's just a bug's eye view. From there you can see the dual exhaust that was hung by Bill at the House of Mufflers. Here's the other side front suspension from a different angle. There's the whole reason to add the extra seat belts so I can actually take the boys on a cruise with me. And the last piece to show, that is a nine inch rear axle off of what most likely is a 77 Thunderbird that I had to have narrowed in order to fit in the rear axle here, uh, in order to fit wheels on, any wheels at all. And there is the exhaust tips coming out the rear. So, hope you've enjoyed the tour of the Falcon. Walk around the car. This one without screaming Eli in the background. Instead, we've got all the Hondas across the street that are being worked on idling. There's a good bug's eye view from the rear. Bugs eye view from the front. The radiator came from Benson Radiator. The front spring hinges, which no, they did not have spring hinges in 63 Falcons, came off of, I believe, a 64 Comet, I, mean, I can't remember exactly, a bull master cylinder, I believe, off of a 70 uh, Maverick.